All right, so now you've made a beat. Now let's figure out how to mix that beat to get the volume levels just right, right? So Beat Thing hardware has its own built-in mixer. So I can take all my tracks and basically get the volume levels right, the panning, all that kind of good stuff, right? So let me show you how to do that right quick. Basically, I just pull up a pattern, you know what I'm saying? I make a pattern or do whatever. Let's, um, for this one, let's pull up um, electric. Just load that pattern in. Um, it's gonna load all the samples. And I've got different tracks here laid out. So there's the, you know, the beat plan. But then I've got like, just the kick and the snare here. And the different things. I can solo them all just like that. Let's say I wanted to mix that. Let's say track one is too loud, or I want the, the kick and the snare to come up. Well, how do I do that? Well, while the beat's playing, or when it stops, I just simply hit the mixer button right here on the line. And the mixer button will take me into the mixer. I can select the track that I want to adjust. Let's say like track one, those kicks and snares. I can take that whole volume and bring it up, or turn it down. So it's just right to the way I like it. I can also use the panning button to pan it left or right in the mix. I can do the freak send how much of it I want to go to the actual freak plus. Click more, how much I want it to delay, or how much I want to send to the reverb. And then I can also turn on or off the filter. Now, to use the filter, I would then use the mod wheel. But I can adjust that filter too. I've got band pass, low pass, high pass, notch, high shelf, low shelf, peaking. Let's set it to band pass. Then I can hit more again, and I've got the frequency of that filter and the cue. Just solo it so you can hear it better. And then I just move the mod wheel to change it. And you just take some playing with. But that's how to use the filters here. So you can filter your sounds however you want. And put those filters on. Or I can turn it off to make you play regular. Easy. Hit more again. And I'm back to my volume level here. And you can see all the little things on the screen here. The panning shows up here at the top. Here's your volume, freak, delay, reverb, frequency, and cue for your filters. And then to exit out and get back to the main screen, I can just hit the mixer button again, or I can hit exit either way. And I can mix each track. If I click mixer again, I can just select the different tracks. I can set the volume for each track, the panning for each track. So that's how to work the mixer. Once again, very easy to do, um, very simple, just like that. Yeah, so that's basically how to work the mixer. Um, very powerful, no need to take it anywhere. Um, you can mix all your tracks right here on the hardware. Adjust all your volumes, your panning, filters, um, reverb sends, all that stuff right here on the box just by clicking the mixer button while you're in pattern mode. Very simple. Um, this is AJA, it's been real. Check out the next tutorial. Peace.